Hello, Krix is here and welcome to this week's video. So this week I have something super exciting. I'm like, I was waiting for this moment the whole week because it's video about Molotov markers and how I am going to refill them. I don't know if you know, but I have these markers for a half year I or more, or more. And I love them so much and so much that I actually run out of ink on some of them. So I bought refills and I'm gonna show you how I'm doing refill part. But I have a twist and the twist is I'm gonna actually make my own color because I have new markers, the empty markers, and I have markers I used before which are running out of ink. I just got to Jackson's art website and there isn't any more colors I would want to buy because other colors are either something pink or violet or they're metallic or fluo colors. So that's when the idea about custom colors came into my mind. And as you know me, I really like dual and muted colors. So I'm gonna make my own greens and blues and you're gonna be to this adventure with me. And I hope you enjoyed it and if you do, make your own colors as well. You can like make specific tone, specific shade you want. Okay, this is too long. <laughs> let's let's jump into the video. Okay, uh, let's do refilling. I tried this method with one marker. So what I did before was I um, basically unscrewed this part and you can do this without a cap. So you basically unscrew the not the cap part, but the lower one, like that. And um, as you can see, you can take this one out. There are two discs up here. We need to aim for the lower one. So if you have nails, you can just try to open it like a cap. If not, um, take a tool, but hold the, the other finger on the other side so it doesn't fly away because there are there is a spring so I'm just gonna I need to <laughs> get closer yeah and this can be a messy part so that's why you need to have like some butt underneath so now you opened both parts and basically if you take the first one there's like a spring inside so it will fly away so it's really important to take the second one out now you can take this one and put it on the side and this is fairly simple so you can see there is inside the rest of the color and I'm just gonna shake this one a bit because um, the color can separate as you can see up here it's two different colors so I'm gonna just shake it a little bit leave it like that so it doesn't fall over I'm just gonna shake it and this is also a quite easy part, so you just screw it down like that. And uh, yeah, basically that's it. You, what you need to do, you just need to turn it upside down. And just, um, I prefer like that, so you just pump a little bit. And what I do, I'm checking how much I put inside. So you can kind of see how much is in there. As this is empty marker, I need to fill it quite a lot. And don't overfill it, so it shows the maximum is up here. But I would recommend it to fill a little bit lower than that, because it's better to put less than more. You can always put more if you want. Really useful to just like clean it a little bit around. Well, it's like a preference, I guess, if you don't want, don't clean it like that. And um, then you're just gonna put it back on. Um, put this nib inside. And just screw up like that. It's super simple and easy process, as you can see. It's not a lot <laughs> going on. And now you can like shake it a little bit, shake it and you're ready to go. So this is 
white, almost white color, so you won't see like the difference, but it runs really smoothly. So there you go. This is how you refill the markers. It's super simple and easy process actually. So it's just a little bit messy, but other than that, it's really simple. Okay, now comes the most exciting part. I also wanted to show which markers I have. So these are Molotov markers, uh, these are liquid text markers, and these are Posca markers I have. So I basically have super neutral and muted, muted colors. I got skin pastel for skin. It's more pinkish than I thought, but it's all right. So these are the markers I am currently having. It's quite a lot to be honest. Yeah, it's it's you you can make a lot of things from these colors, but for me, I want to have more greens and blues. So this is not enough. <laughs> oh, here's one more. So yeah, and um, I also have these liquid text colors and Posca. And I had an idea to make my own color. One day I just woke up and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make my own color. And as there is like refills for for them, why not mix them together and get unique color? So with that idea in mind, I tried to mix my own colors with these markers. And I'm gonna show you how you can get your own mixes and order the refills online. So basically, I I'm gonna demonstrate this one, okay? So, I grabbed my ceramic palette. I'm so sorry uh, for the untidiness of this palette, but this is real life and this is how I work. So, basically what I did, I just grabbed a piece of paper and I was like, okay, I really want this muted color, uh, but warmer tone and there isn't any, like I checked, there isn't any green that is just what I need. So, I just thought, okay, what if I mix uh, ochre and uh, future green together. So what I did, I pumped a little color up here and on ceramic palettes it's really nice because uh, it's really nice surface to work with them. And then I pumped a little bit of, of uh, ochre and then I kind of, I grabbed a brush and dipped a little bit of water, just like a tiny bit. And I tried to mix them. So as you can see, this is one color. I'm like, no, I want more yellowish. Just put more ochre out and mix it with like that. So this is color I would get from these two colors. Now I'm gonna press this one a little bit more. I want, for example, more yellowish tone. So I'm just gonna pump ochre mix it with the future green and like yeah this is like color i want or i can go even more and press the pigment even more and get like this lovely color so this is how i mix the colors to get understanding which colors i would want to have in the future and which uh, refills i bought from jackson's so these are the three colors which you can get from yellow ochre. And future green. But look how different it is. So, and there isn't that tone. Well, the closest is Amazon light. But the thing is you can make your own specific shade, which is still different than that one. Oh, I'm so excited to share this with you. So with this knowledge in mind, I I made several swatches and I basically made swatches from um, like six colors. So I didn't want to buy a lot of refills and I also wanted to buy refills for the markers I needed to actually re refill. So I bought the color of white because I needed to refill this color. I also got color Lago Blue Pastel because I actually needed to refill this marker. And I think I also got um, this uh, Future Green 
because I just thought this is really gorgeous color and I think I would want to have it for refills. So these were the colors I bought in Jackson's store when I was in London and I also, as you remember, bought this empty marker and I already had like the idea to make my own colors but then I was at home and I just started to experimenting with mixing colors and I will show you just in a second. So I also got this uh, ye yellow walker color. I got this lobster color, which I actually needed to refill as well. And then I got this petrol color. So with these colors in mind, I knew that I can get somewhat muted colors. This is uh, yellow ochre is like yellow, lobster is like red and petrol is blue. So these could be like a primary color, just more muted. This is white, so it's really great to make lighter tones. So what I did, keeping this in mind, these colors, I mixed my own colors together, together uh, with that technique I just showed you with this technique and uh, these are the colors I mixed so these are all of those five colors mixed with this off-white then I made uh, this is uh, how the colors would look with ochre then these are the colors I could get with lobster super muted colors and then these are the colors I could get with the uh, future green and this is like the rest of petrol. As you can see like future green, if you need more future green, you, you can see like this is also future green mix and this is also future green mix and this is also future green mix. So yes, and then I also tried to experiment a little bit more with three colors. So this is uh, white, ochre and petrol colors. And I really like this color. So these are my mixes. And I made like small dots, which colors I would definitely want to have. So what are we going to do today? We are going to mix future green and lobster. And we will get hopefully this uh, brownish shade. Then we are going to mix uh, yellow ochre and future green. And I will try to mix three colors together as well. And we'll see how it will work out. And then also, as I mentioned before, I have three colors which I are empty. And I will try to refill Poscas. We'll see how it will work out. So I have ivory and beige color, empty markers. And I also have parchment in Liquitex, which is empty as well. So I'm gonna try to refill these markers as well. <laughs> okay. So, with this knowledge, let's make Future and Lobster. And uh, I want this color in this big tube. And uh, so I tried to make it uh, like in a middle, but I think I need to add a little bit more Lobster than Future Green. Grab the sheets just for mess. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna put this one up here. Screw this one up here. As you can see, it's much, much bigger, much bigger um, size. <laughs> and while it's empty, I'm gonna show how it looks if I will open the first only. Oh, did you saw? Look, it just flies. So to to avoid the mess. We are not opening the first one. Okay, <laughs> we are opening second one. Okay, so this is the second one. And always remember to take the second one. And as you can see there are two, two um, small balls inside. That's what the, keeps the paint mixing if you shake it. In the small markers, there's only one, but on the bigger ones, there is two. And this time, because I am involving two colors, I'm gonna check this mark and hopefully I will get it right. I am thinking I will add lobster one and a half milliliters and uh, future green only one 
so it's a little bit more lobster than future green <sighs> i'm so nervous and excited this is crazy this is like something super new for me so i'm gonna check uh you will not see but i'm gonna check on the side okay i hope it's fine okay so it's one and a half now for lobster and I'm going to add one for future, <laughs> one for future. So I'm going to shade the future green. Okay. I hope, let's hope for this color. Let's hope for it. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is so beautiful. I think I will add a little bit more of lobster though. Now the final proportions are one milliliter future green and two milliliters lobster. So one versus two. I hope it's all right because the green it's darker. So I was actually realizing that maybe it will be quite dark. So I want it to be a little bit lighter let's just zoom out a little bit um i can't believe i'm making my own color i'm gonna shake it quite a lot because um mixing two colors at the same time okay are you ready Okay, I'm gonna show you the future lobster color. Isn't this beautiful? <laughs> so this is the future lobster color and it's, um, it's quite warm comparing to future green. And as you can see, it's quite different color. I don't know actually if you can see in the camera, but this is much more warmer than this tone. These are the two colors I used. I'm gonna try to make a little bit different color. So this is quite dark and I want much lighter color. So I'm gonna try to make something, something like this maybe. I think this color is quite different from anything here. So I will make Lago blue color. I need Lago blue color. I'm gonna need white and I'm gonna need ochre. So these three colors together. We'll see if I will manage to do this color or not. You are here with me as well. So let's see. I'm gonna make the big one again. Always the second one. Okay. Okay, I need to get precise the color I need. And I'm not sure how I will get it, but we'll see. I really hope I will get this color. So, basically shaking these ones again. I'm gonna fill this one till number 1.5. I want this color to be quite light. This is like science. <laughs> yeah, I guess I need to document everything. So this is 1.5. If I don't remember, I will check the footage again. So ochre color so for now I have white 1.5 I have ochre 0 0.5 I'm gonna put 0 0.5 for Lago Blue I can approximately see the color and I wanted much lighter shade so I'm going to feel more of the white color. Look at this gradient. <laughs> Again, going to shake it as much as possible. Three colors here mixing. Like this color looks really good. It looks like something like that. Okay, are you ready? Oh, 
look at this color it's beautiful wow okay wow i'm so impressed wow this color is gorgeous and uh, as you can see there isn't any color like that it's like pistachio color wow i really like this color it's really great for landscape setting but yeah so i have two colors now and i'm gonna make more colors because i have empty markers this is quite the color i wanted so it's quite similar which i'm pleased with this was the color i wanted and i got this one so i had the wrong proportions maybe next time i will add a little bit more lobster but what I'm going to do now, I wanted to have super light, light, light uh, blue, which is like misty blue in gouache I use, but I'm not sure if I can get that color with these ones. So, okay, I need to check. Okay, so now I'm gonna make gray color and I'm gonna use the petrol color, lobster and white. Uh, to completely like experiment I guess I'm not sure how it will work out I'm actually running out of white color which is super strange um, I thought it will be longer but maybe I needed to get bigger size petrol color will be till number two or I, I will put it less actually because it's quite dark tone okay I think I put a little bit less blue I hope I really hope because I don't want it to be super dark color hopefully I will get something gray because uh, these are two complementary colors okay oh it's much greener than I thought not gray per se but I like this color so I'm gonna keep it and now it's the last color which is made of these three and it looks like ash ash green yeah ash green from Holbein <laughs> gouache I it looks like I made almost exact copy so it's um, ash green from Holbein gouache and this is the marker it's so similar I like it it's cool it's just the same color almost so these are the three colors I made in the bigger markers I will try again to get this brown color and I'm gonna make it in this paint marker let's see what's inside of this one okay oh well this looks super easy just fill it as you wish i guess so i will add a little bit of future and then i will add a lot of lobster color <laughs> i feel like i'm doing the wrong thing you know uh putting color inside of non-refillable marker but like I feel you can refill this one as well, you know, and I'm gonna add Lago Blue as well. I don't know what's going to happen up here. This is pure experiment. <laughs> I have no idea how full I can make it. Um, I think this is the fullest because this is going to go in quite deep. I'm gonna mix it quite well as well. Oh no! This looks super similar to this one. I made quite similar color. Is it the same? No, it's a little bit different, <laughs> luckily. But yeah, next time I've, I think I will add a little bit more white to it. Yeah, these are quite similar colors, but this is a little bit more colder. This is more warmer. So this is Posca. Let's try to refill Posca marker. Oh, it's so hard to open it. I cannot open this one. Okay, I'm gonna check for more empty markers then. Okay, so I have one discovery. So basically, Poscan markers, uh, you cannot unscrew them because they were made like these 
part pushed in, so I cannot open them, so I cannot refill them at all. In total, I made four new colors. I hope you find this entertaining, and I'm gonna put these colors up here. So now I have more greens in my color palette. These three are new colors. And this one. So I actually have a sketchbook where I am doing super loose drawings and I found that uh, markers are super quick medium to work with. So I will share it later to you, but basically a lot of these are done just only with markers and less than 30 minutes. So I am super excited to go back and work on those landscapes with these big markers. I'm like, I'm super excited. So yes. So this is like my marker book slash, yeah, something. So super excited for that. I don't know how long this video will be, but I thought maybe I can make like mini quick color palettes and um, see how the colors could look together. I hope it's interesting. Uh, so yeah, these are just some swatches, colors you could possibly make by these ones. I'm super excited to work on my sketchbook and use new green colors. I, I was really searching for new colors and um, Molotov didn't have those, so I made my own. And you can too, just uh, buy refills and mix them together. I had my formula, so if you like any of these colors, um, I have numbers up here, you can possibly see them. So this is how much I used it. And these are actually not milliliters, I just checked these marks. So by one, I mean one, mark one, and by two, from one to three. Okay, um, let's welcome also Christian. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I hope you get somewhat inspiration. Maybe you can have this approach as well. I don't know. If you like these markers, give a go to try make your own specific color. It's super interesting, I think. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and comment down below what you would love to see in the future. I have some, some ideas, but I would really want to hear your output and what do you think about like some ideas you have or so on. So I will keep that in mind. And also, as you know, each week I am promoting different small YouTube channels. And this week I decided to promote quite bigger YouTube channel because I just really enjoy her videos. And it's Natasha Newton. She is amazing. And if you like my videos, you will definitely love hers because she is also super fan of art supply videos and like swatching videos and all of those things I really enjoy myself. So please go and check her out. I'm gonna link her down below and I'm also going to refer her at the end of this week's video. Okay, without further ado, have a good day, evening, morning, wherever you are, and I see you next time for a surprise video for you. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Ah, and drink tea. Drink loads of tea. Okay, <laughs> bye.